Hello everyone, Jude here from Tech Office Software. In our tutorial today, we shall be learning some of the video embedding options we have in modern version of Microsoft PowerPoint. I am using Microsoft PowerPoint 2019 for this tutorial. These steps are sure to work in PowerPoint 2016 and possibly future versions. What I have on the screen now is the first slide on a simple workshop I had some time ago on global air pollution. On the first slide, I have the title which is Air Pollution Causes and Effect. What I have here on the second slide is gas emission from gas and petroleum giants globally. And the third slide is the global sources of air pollution. Then I have the effects of air pollution. Now I want to add some videos in this presentation. Unfortunately, we have some options of embedding videos on PowerPoint. In order to add videos to this slide, I am going to, now I want to add some videos in this presentation. Unfortunately, we have some options of embedding videos on PowerPoint. In order to add videos to this presentation, I am going to add a new slide to the presentation. So I come down here and tap, then I click on enter to add a new slide. To add a video, I come to this new slide within this eight boxes here i am going to select this one that said insert video i click on the box and this immediately take me to my computer to make a choice of the video i want to use in this presentation so i select the folder where i save the video i click on it and click on insert to have the video inserted into the slide the video has been inserted into the slide. I can make adjustment here to increase the size of the video. I can play the video within the slides. I can move back or forward. I can increase the volume or reduce the volume. Then I come under here once again, tap on it and click enter. The first video is from a file in my computer. This is possible when you already have a video in your computer system. The next one is from YouTube. So to get a video from YouTube, since the option we have here did not include getting video online, I come to insert then from here videos then I click on online video I have so many places to take video from I have from YouTube, Slideshare, Vimeo, Stream and Flipgrid I'm going to put in the link to the video I want to download and you notice immediately I put the link PowerPoint started searching for the link online so powerpoint has gotten the video online you must note one thing for you to be able to get video online you must have data and you must be connected online to do this so i press on insert to have the video inserted into the powerpoint i make some adjustment i want the video to cover the slide So having resized the slides, now let us test the second video we added to this PowerPoint presentation. Here is the first video and now the second video. So I click on play. So the YouTube video has loaded up and is playing now as you might have noticed. We have the volume control here. We can control how we want it the quality and everything we want just as it is in the main YouTube. The third method we would have used to embed video in this tutorial is called embed code. But this PowerPoint 
did not give us the option of using embedding code to bring in videos. So remember, the two ways you can embed videos into PowerPoint is either to use the insert video option we have in the slide or to go to insert then select video from the drop down you select whether from the device or online as it is with this powerpoint here and if yours have the, the embed code then you can also insert video by embedding code after you have inserted your videos when you click on the video you look up here we notice that we have video options the first one said video format and the next one said playback as we click on the video format we notice that some ribbons has popped up we have the option to play or preview here then corrections to change color the, the poster frame design then we have the video style how we want the video to be the video shape let's say we choose this one we notice that the edge or it has shaped the edge of the video then we also have the video border to add border to the video and then effect to the video so depending on what you want to do the adjustments you want to do it in this video i'm going to leave this one this way then when we come to the playback we have the option of bookmarking editing which include fade duration then start and click sequence so to this end let us go to the slideshow and see how our videos or our presentation will look like when we show it to the audience so i will start from the first slide i come to this slideshow and click on it then the next slide the next slide the effect of air pollution you notice that once i click on it it starts playing then and i click again it takes us to the last slide as has shown up so it has started playing in this video we are going to learn about the effects on our health from a range from of here as well if you live in the city you, you may already be aware of the here. effects of hair pollution increase the volume you may already have had some breathing discomfort as well or painful eyes our the ones that we'll be focusing on here. in this video are particulate matter called pf to come out you click on escape and it will take you out of the slideshow so we have come to the end of this tutorial thank you for watching this video please check out my playlist on powerpoint tutorial and if this video is helpful please like the video subscribe to my channel click the bell icon so that youtube will notify you once i drop a new video see you in the next video